Okay, welcome to our product review for the Swished um, compressor fridge, uh, 12 volt, and it is a genuine, or 240, um, it is a genuine compressor fridge, uh, it really is, I appreciate there's some reluctance or um, scepticism that this is, is, is exactly what it says it is, but it, it really is, so we'll get that out of the way first. Um, I'm just going to give a quick review, um, excuse the state of my camper van, it's an absolute tip at the moment, but a couple of props here, so a couple of the vitals, things you might end up putting in it. A temperature gauge just so we can see whether the uh, the actual gauge on the machine is telling porkies or not we've got a mains adapter there and we've got a 12 volt all these come with it obviously apart from the beers and the uh, temperature gauge and um, the uh, 12 volt uh, hookup is there now in all transparency I did quickly run this yesterday just to see what what it did um, it did struggle on the 12 volt with my cigarette light socket but that's more to do with my socket than than, uh, than the actual unit to be fair if I wanted it running off 12 volts which I would I'd, I'd hardwire it into the uh, into the fuse board to be honest with you into the buzz bars there but uh, yeah anyway so for the purposes of today I'll run it off the um, inverter I've got a Victron inverter not that matters but we've got a Victron inverter so we'll run it off that uh, and just see how we get on um, the Victron inverter doesn't like being on eco mode running this thing. Um, again, not that should matter. So it likes to be on the sort of permanent mode. Um, it like the, the fridge likes to know it's got a constant source of power for some reason. It doesn't like it when uh, when it's when that's not clear to it. So if you've got a Victron inverter with an eco mode, eco mode, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'll just hook that up quickly now. I'll just quickly talk you through it. Okay, so we've got the power lead. I'm going to pop that in. He says put it the right way around be a good start okay so when you pop that in you get a bit of a beep oops let's hold on to it there we go there we go okay from the unit does this little diagnostic thing counts down to one there we go okay and that's off so what we'll do now I'll just quickly take you through the control panel so it's not particularly complex so you've got um, an power button a settings button which only does one or two things and a very simple up and down temperature it is very 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 basic okay so we'll just power it on power it on straight away so we'll just hold the power button till it sparks up and there we go okay so you can see that's receiving 13.9 volts it's battery the internal battery is fully charged now interestingly when you disconnect the mains power and i'll show you in a minute when i do that um that actually changed from 13 to 23 point something so it's a 24 uh, volt internal battery that's charged off 12 volts when you obviously plug it into your into your camper van, assuming you've got a 12 volt setup. At uh, the top there's the current temperature, it's 8 degrees. Um, the uh, voltage at the moment it's receiving is 13.9, um, and it's set to maximum cooling mode. So the settings button I mentioned before, it's only got two option options. Basically, it's so I'll zoom in on the on this thing there. So it's max or it's eco. That's all it is. Um, obviously a power saving uh, function so we'll leave it on max for now just for testing purposes okay so this is a unit I ended up with the avocado one only because when I came to the checkout or to buy the thing that's all they had left so that's what I ended up with so um, idea of scale so we'll put a, a corona everybody knows what a corona is so we'll pop a, oops, pop a corona in there okay I've also got a temp gauge in there which I hope you can see so we've got a corona in there and a temperature gauge in there so you can see it's 8.3 the um, actual unit itself is showing eight degrees so happy days we're, we're okay with that that seems to be telling the truth um, just pop that back up again you've also got as you probably notice a very handy little light actually it works really well really really well so anyway I'll drop the lid down it's quite substantial this thing it's quite heavy um, it's it's not a, a disposable unit by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it really is. Um, it does feel well built, to be fair. Um, there's not a lot to go wrong with it. It feels quite basic. Um, anyway, we'll get on to the temp settings. So what I'll do is I'm going to set it to the co coolest it'll go, which is reputedly minus 20. So we'll, there we go. So that's on minus 20 now. Okay. So what I expect there shortly is when it's actually when the compressor is actually running, um, and it is a compressor fridge, as I said earlier. Um, you will actually see a little frost icon appear on the screen by temp there. So that frost icon will appear. You then know that the actual compressor is running and it is actively cooling the, uh, the the contents of the fridge. There you go, you can see it there. Um, I'll shut up for a minute and see if you can hear this.
Okay, I don't know whether you can hear that. It is very, very quiet. That would not wake you up if you were asleep. I can absolutely guarantee that I'm a light sleeper. You would absolutely not wake up um, if uh, if that was running during the night, okay? Um, you do reputedly get eight hours of this running on its own power. So the way I was looking at it, I've obviously got solar on my camper van, um, is to run it hooked up solar all the way through the day, or if I'm obviously driving B2B from the power from the uh, from the van itself, and then at night time, just unplug it and let it run, so I'm not draining my battery, uh, onboard battery, and then charge it again when I've got solar the following day, or when I'm, dro when I'm driving the following day. So that, that was my plan with it. Um, how that would work in reality, I don't know, and obviously we'll have to come back and and check that at a later date but that's where we're up to with it um what i'll do now is i'll just dig out the uh, details of the dimensions and things like that just to give you an idea so just bear with me so other than the two power supplies the obviously the actual fridge itself the only other thing you get is um a very basic um handbook like i say there's not a lot to it so it's not like you need anything more than this really in all honesty it's very very basic very very straightforward okay so it does have in here somewhere the dimensions because th that is helpful if you're uh, trying to place it in your van. Um, let's just flip over. Here we go. Right, so technical parameters. So it's a 20 litre um, fridge, uh, 12 volts or 24 can run on either. Minus 20, uh, it'll, the maximum it will go down to. Um, 45 watts rated power, 3.7 amps uh, when it's running. Uh, 12 kilos uh, empty, um, so it, it is quite a substantial unit. It's not, you know, very lightweight and disposable, like I said earlier. And hopefully, in this terrible light, you can just about zoom in and see the dimensions. So um, the external dimensions are 57 centimeters by 32 centimeters by 33 centimeters. So that's le length, width, and height. So it's 33 high. Okay, to give you an idea. Um, Flip back over the page. There is some technical detail here on um, the cutoff values, when it will run, when it will stop running, uh, at what volts, etc. Okay, so hopefully you can just about see those. Okay. So back up to the unit. It's happily running now um, at eight degrees. We'll see what uh, how long it takes to get down to the minus twenty. Um, I'll leave this and I'll come back shortly. I'll time it. So at the moment now we've got. Just turn my watch on let's have a look so it's now 20 to to 7 um sorry it's 20 to 8 um and we'll come back shortly and we'll just see where we're at in perhaps 20 minutes okay so quick catch up so if i just check the time now oops, excuse me so it's now just after quarter to eight okay so what's that six seven minutes it's been running it's reporting that it's down to minus nine already which is a heck of a difference in that such such a short period um as you can see, unfortunately, one of the props hasn't quite made it. But anyway, there we are. Um, we'll have a look at the power drain. So this is on permanent um, uh, refrigeration at the moment now. So this is really pulling some power. Look at how many amps that's pulling. 7.35 amps. That's a real draw on the uh, on the power, I've got to be honest. Um, we'll just see. So it's actually saying we're down to minus 10 now. Okay, I'm not sure I believe that, so we'll just pop the lid open and the light will do its thing, I'm sure, and we'll be able to see what the uh, the temp gauge inside is saying. Let's have a quick look. Oh, pop that up. Okay, so that says, that says, apologies if you can't see that very well, let me lift it out. It does feel very cold in there, though. Uh, that says 1.2 degrees. Okay, so we'll shut that back down again. And that's now saying minus 11 again. Not sure who to believe there, to be honest with you. But anyway, we'll we'll give it another few minutes because uh, expecting it to get down to minus twenty in sort of five ten minutes is probably a little bit unrealistic. So we'll come back shortly. Okay, so compressor's now cut out. It thinks it's got to minus twenty. Um, I am a little bit skeptical, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, it says it's got to minus twenty. Um, have a quick look at what the power's doing. So um, obviously the inverter's plugged in, so it's just ticking over basically 1.97 amps there um not doing a whole lot okay um let's come back across um i've actually put an additional um temperature gauge into the fridge I, i'm very very skeptical about this minus 20 i'll be honest with you so anyway let's pop it open um 
paranoid apart from anything else that my corona's going to freeze. But anyway, let's just pop that up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the one that's been in there a while is reporting minus three. I've only just put the other one in, in all fairness. So it is reporting minus three, okay? So it is definitely freezing temperature. So I am going to take my beer out. There we go. Um, so what I'll do is I'll leave this running for a little bit longer. Probably give it sort of 20 minutes, half an hour or so. Um, it's now only, let me wake my watch up. It's now only 10 to 8. So even even still, it's only been running for sort of like 10, 15 minutes. Um, come back perhaps in 20 minutes or so and just see what it's doing then. Okay, so quick update. It's now 20 to 9. So about an hour now. Um, it's reporting... Minus 18, so I'm assuming the compressor will kick in very shortly again. Um, just with regard to temperature, let's just see what uh, what it's managed. Oh, just pop that lid open. Oh, my um, my gauge. These temp gauges aren't the best, in all honesty. They're only just cheap Amazon rubbish. But um, you can probably see that there. Minus 12.2 minus 18 i'm pretty confident that that'll drop down a little bit further actually they, they aren't the quickest to the uh, to react it took a long time for it to get um to that in all honesty so let's just show you that minus 12 so very very cold plenty cold enough to freeze anything that you've uh, you want to throw at it um all in all really impressed in all honesty really really impressed um so that's taken an hour to get down to minus 12 from i think plus what do we start at? Plus eight, was it? So that's 20 degrees differential in temperature, which is pretty good going. Um, all in all, I'm really, really impressed with it. Uh, time will tell, see how I get on with it in sort of real life. In fact, actually, I can just hear the, there we go, look. Little frost icons popped on again. So uh, it's got to minus 17. I've lifted the lid up. If the compressor just kicked back into action. Uh, no more props left, unfortunately, but you get the idea. Um, I'll actually just knock it off. Now, let's just pop that lid open. <clears throat> okay, just to give you an idea of size. So you can see there, it'll take, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 of those Coronas quite happily. Just to give you an idea of size. It's not huge, but, you know, it's more than enough for a few frozen sort of essentials if you're out on the road. Um, we've got a fridge. Let me just pop the lights on. We've got a 240 volt fridge that runs off the inverter, does brilliantly, it's awesome. The, the, the freezer in it's rubbish in all honesty. It does have like a little freezer compartment, but it's garbage. Um, this, at those temperatures, will definitely, definitely um, do what we need. Um, so yeah, I'm quite quite impressed. Uh, I did say I'd just show you the, uh, the display when you unplug the mains power, so I'll attempt to do that one-handed, which is not very easy because it's quite a tight fit the plug which I suppose is a good thing I guess I'll just unplug that Arrgh, come on it is a really tight fit that there we go okay so you'll notice that the display so it does its diagnostic malarkey again you'll see it's gone from um, I think it's 13.9 before wasn't it uh, we're now 25.2 so it's using the internal 24 volt uh, battery system um, it's still powering itself the lights are lit everything's still doing what it should be doing let me just shut the lid okay um, everything's still doing what it should be doing but it's just running on its internal battery and that's a power bank for it there okay I am going to power it off now there's no need for it to be running so just keep my finger on it there we go, and off it goes. But yeah, I can assure you it is very cold inside there. Um, so I have no doubt that it'd get closer to the minus 20 if I just left that um, temp gauge longer to, to settle. But yeah, overall, incredibly impressed with that. Really am, for what a price. 79.99 was it, or 79.95? Free delivery, 24 hours, and on a Sunday. Can't beat it.